Hey growers, Nate here. So we're going over something today that our Canicribs consulting and design team has been implementing in a lot of greenhouse grows. But from a lot of people we've spoken to, it's an unfamiliar concept for lighting. So we're making a video on it so we can share it, get the information out for those who might know about this product and have heard a little bit about it, kind of understand it, or for some of you out there who have never heard of this thing before. So let me first start off by saying, you know, innovation in grow lighting usually happens in incremental steps, but every once in a while, there's a big shift in innovation. So for those of you who have been growing for like a decade plus, maybe you remember the changeover from single-ended HPS lamps to double-ended HPS lamps. People started getting automatically 20 to 30% more out of each light, essentially, in terms of their dry weight. Uh, another big one was when LEDs actually got to the point where it made more sense to use them than double-ended HPS lights, which we're really seeing in the last probably 24 months. So the innovation that we're talking about today is very similar to that, but in a different way. So the leap in innovation that we're highlighting today is the California Lightworks Mega Drive system. Now, if you haven't heard of it, let me break this novel system down because it's a patented technology that unless you're an electrician, sometimes is a little bit hard to completely understand. Let me start off with why this is a big deal. Overall, when you build out a commercial growing operation, either indoors or in a greenhouse, you're gonna pay an electrician for the labor and equipment to make the power outlets. These are often called power drops. They're above each fixture and every few fixtures. So assuming you're buying LEDs, usually the cost of this is around 30 to 50% of your fixture cost if you're outfitting a totally new greenhouse or totally new indoor facility. To put that into perspective, if you're buying something like 100 LEDs for around, let's say $100,000 to use round numbers, you'll probably pay another 30 grand to an electrician to wire up everything you needed to run those 100 fixtures. With a system like the Mega Drive system, that brings the cost down by a factor of about 10 to around two to $3,000. So that's one of the reasons that we are using this in a lot of new builds via our consulting division. So this is all because the Mega Drive system removes the power electronics from the fixture and locates them into a 10,000 watt power supply which is kind of like a ballast for those of you who are familiar with that from old school. And it pushes power to up to 27 fixtures. So one 10,000 watt ballast, think of it that way, pushes all of the power to 27 fixtures, depending on what wattage you opt for in the fixtures, which can be anywhere from like about 400 to 800 watts. And get this, because the power supplies are removed from each LED fixture, and those power supplies, you often see them if you have fixtures, it's like a little tiny box, usually just like two inches by three inches by eight inches, something like that, depending on the size of the fixture. Because you remove those, the cost of each fixture actually drops by about 30% to comparable high efficiency LEDs on the market. So remember the earlier example, that guy who bought basically the LEDs for 100K and then spent 30K installing them? Well, with the Mega Drive system that we bought, we bought the whole system for 70K instead of 100K, and then we only spent about $3,000 installing them instead of $30,000. So we're at about 60% of the total cost of the guy who spent 100K on LEDs and 30K on the installation. Stay with me now because there are a few more things I wanna go over. And and because that power supply is removed from the LED fixture, like I mentioned earlier, you're also actually removing about 10 to 15% of the heat given off by the fixture that you are locating now in the Mega Drive unit, which you install outside of your growing area. And that will bring down your HVAC usage even more and making your electricity bill lower than comparable LEDs on the market. Now, let's go back to that 100 light kind of scenario. Your electricity bill, let's just say it's about $100,000 per year to run 100 lights for 12 months, which should be about correct when you factor in the electricity associated with dehumidifiers, air conditioning, and other miscellaneous equipment. We will now drop that down to 85 to 90K per year with our system using the Mega Drive because we actually have less heat that we're generating in the room, even though we're using the same amount of light output. Also, because the power electronics are no longer on the fixtures, they actually last much longer. So the hottest part of your grow room is usually where the fixtures are located, above the canopy, near the ceiling, or in the higher part of the greenhouse. The rule of thumb in electronics and power supply design is when it comes to heat, basically each 10 degree increase in power supply temperature cuts down the lifetime of the driver by 50%. So by keeping the power electronics in a cooler remote location, you actually dramatically increase the lifetime of the whole lighting system. 
meaning you're gonna be able to use these LEDs for longer than comparable LEDs. So the reason I made this video, just like I said earlier, is honestly just because of how much of a game changer this technology is, and for those who are trying to cultivate cannabis or any other high value crop efficiently. So of course, there's a whole bunch of other features about the light that we could go over, but I'm trying to make this a short condensed video where we can just get this message out, share it, for those who might be interested in something like this. But here's a few notes for those of you who are pretty deep into the weeds in terms of features and tech specs. The Mega Drive system can run from 208 volt to 480 volt, single phase or three phase. The lights are all daisy chained together from the Mega Drive system. But if one fixture goes out for any reason, all the remaining units keep going. So when we're designing a facility with this, basically everything is custom bespoke. If you say you want a 100 fixture grow, Basically we design it and then we custom make all the cabling and power cords to come included with the lights per order. And the Mega Drive power supply can be located up to 300 feet away from the fixtures, making them pretty easy to consolidate and access by electricians. We highly recommend that people put them all consolidated in let's say one hallway or in between the greenhouses where you don't even have to access the grow room to tend to any of the electronics for the Mega Drive system. And the Mega Drive system offers an on-off dimming and spectrum control via a touchscreen interface. And this can be a wireless system or interface with any third-party environmental control systems. The fixtures are IP65 water resistant and made for humid environments. And right now, some utility companies are even offering rebates that can help pay for up to 50% of the LED fixture cost, depending on what your location is, what state, what power company you use. So our Canacribs consulting team is doing free consultations and designs with the Mega Drive system. And if you're even casually interested in seeing if it's gonna be a good system for you, fill out the form below and we'll see if the Mega Drive system is something that seems efficient for your cannabis growing operation.